What are all those closing costs? Watch, learn, and then give me a call. Hey, this is Chris, the Mortgage Pro. People ask me about closing costs. You know, closing costs are different from the down payment. Certain programs have a requirement that you put a certain percentage down. Now, these are different. They are fees such as we have appraisal, we have a credit report, we have processing, we have underwriting. These, these fees, they're just standard things. But then we have escrow fees. Now, the escrow company gets paid certain fees, and some of them might be a doc drawing fee. They might have a printing fee to print the documents. There's going to be a notary fee. They're going to have a loan tie-in fee. If there's a loan tied in with the transaction, they're going to add a couple of hundred dollars on. We also have title. They have numerous fees. There's recording fees to record the loan with the county so that it's your house and we guarantee it. So all these fees together, they can add up to quite a sum of money. Now, on top of the fees, there are other costs. What are they? Well, depends on what month of the year, depends on how many months taxes we need to get so that we put them in together in an impound account so your payment, you make one payment, includes your taxes and your insurance. When we start the loan, basically you're going to pay one year's and three months homeowner's insurance up front. We're also going to pay, you know, if we're in April, we're going to put three months taxes. If we're in September, it's going to be nine months taxes. So it's something that's out of our control, but it's something that we have to come up with the money for. And depending on the loan amount, we'll also determine what are the fees from the title and the escrow company. If you're paying points, sometimes you pay points to buy the rate down to get a lower interest rate, or sometimes you have a low FICO score and we have to charge points. Those are also dependent on what is the size of the loan. So very common, $300,000 loan, $8,000, $7,000, could be $9,000 depending on the time of year. And how do we pay for those? Well, there's three ways usually that they could be paid for. Number one is you pay it. Most people say, I don't really want to pay it. Well, that's the reality. You can pay it or we can ask the seller to pay it or pay some. Very often, we'll ask the seller to pay $8,000 in closing costs. And the seller's going to come back and say, I'm not paying $8,000, but I'll help you out. I'll pay $4,000 or I'll pay $2,000. Now, in a very competitive market like today, when you make an offer on a house, we really don't want to ask for closing costs because what are they going to do? Which offer are they going to accept? If you're offering $300,000, somebody else is offering $300,000, but you're asking for closing costs, they're going to get less. So like anybody else, they want the most money for their house. So when you buy, you got to consider that. Now, the third way to pay closing costs is if your credit is reasonably good, we can raise the interest rate up. And by doing that, we get what's called a lender credit. Example, if I raise on an FHA loan approximately a half percent on the interest rate, I could usually get about one and a half percent of the loan amount. So on a $300,000 loan, I raise the interest rate a half percent, I have $4,500 to lower your closing costs with. So sometimes you pay some, the seller pays some, and we raise the rate a little bit, and we get that combination. It could be any combination of the three, one, two, or three, but that's what closing costs are. Now, there's a couple of closing costs that are paid up front, and that is an appraisal. The appraisal is paid, it depends on what type of loan, whether it's a VA loan, FHA loan, or a conventional loan, what type of appraisal is required, so the, the fees can change just a little bit within $50 to $100. The other fees, we do not collect up front for credit report fees and those type of things, but sometimes we do have fees. For a VA loan, we have to have a termite report. But the good news about you, the vet, if you're a vet, you're not allowed to pay that. So we cover that for you too. So be prepared. You're going to have to put a little deposit down with your realtor. Talk to them about that and the appraisal up front. The rest, we usually work it out as we go. This is Chris Trapani, and I'm going to help you fire your landlord.